What's up, guys? This is Kefis. Ladies and gentlemen, today I come bearing some very good news. Because if you are someone that likes to play World of Warcraft with a controller, perhaps you're playing on a Steam Deck, the good news is that console port is actually functional in the midnight beta. This is obviously very exciting news for many of us who do like to play well with a controller. I know it's something that I depend on as a person with a disability. So yeah, this is awesome. It's going to make playing midnight and even the beta a lot more approachable for me. So I wanted to share how I was able to get this to work. Now, I learned this from the console port discord. So if you want to learn more about how to use console port, perhaps, or stay updated on everything going on with the development throughout the midnight beta and in the future, obviously, I recommend checking out that discord. But enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I get, got this to function. So obviously, the first thing you want to do is install console port to your beta client. So however you install your add ons, just do that with console port. I used Cursed Forge and it's going to install it to or you'll want to install it to World of Warcraft beta interface add ons and then you'll either have it installed there or you'll you'll place the console port folders there and once you have it installed you'll have all these folders that look like this okay and so what you want to do now is you want to go to the top folder that just says console port click on that and then you want to go down to this file that says console port.toc you're going to want to open this up in some type of notepad i just use notepad and at the top you will see uh, this it says interface and then you have three numbers this represents the three uh, world of warcraft clients and as of right now this is updated to 11 to 5 and so that's the number that you should see that's the number i see and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change it to 12 000, 000, 000, 000 okay and that just updates it to the 12.0 client it looks like in midnight there's a pretty hard check at least right now in the beta it, it may stick who knows but there's a pretty hard check just put my microphone sorry for add-ons being updated for midnight so if if add-ons aren't updated and there's not a you know 12 number here and then they may not work so that's going to be the biggest thing once you do that make sure you save it and then close out of that and then we're going to go back into the game what you're going to want to do is go into this go into the add-ons menu add-ons and then here's console port like i said make sure you make the changes before you log into the game otherwise you're going to have a lot of issues now you want to enable i'm just going to go ahead and enable everything but you want to disable action bars and you also want to disable rings there's a lot of issues right now with the api when it comes to action bars this is beyond my understanding i'm not a mall author uh, but basically the information, what uh, the mod author suggested on the Discord was to disable those. And so that's what I've done here. And then click OK. And then we're just going to go ahead and log into the game and see what happens. We are, oh, we're in the neighborhood. OK, so yeah, we'll go ahead and log in here. And uh, this is, hopefully this should work. We'll see what happens. There we go. Yep. Oh, we got an error, but that's to be expected. There are definitely errors. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. We'll probably see a few more of them. Now, when you log in, because I've already done this, when you log in, you'll probably get the, the standard console port, you know, setup guide and everything. Go through the wizard, do all that kind of stuff. I imported my profile over from retail. You can, you know, do that. If you have a profile set up, you can do the same thing. Uh, but that's, that's what I did. Uh, but yeah, so if you open this up, look, there's our radio menus. We can use that. I can open up my bags and the, uh, the cursor's working there. Um, I can open up this. Oh, yep. See, there's more errors. Like I said, it's to be expected. Uh, so yeah, all that's working. Obviously, we have to use the default action bars, but all the actions are there. So if we walk up to my house here and we continuously click out of errors, um, we walk up here, get rid of that. Can I open the door? Oh, you look. Yep. Yep. Hit A. And I'm able to interact with the door. And now we are in my house. There's another error. Hello, errors. <laughs> so, yeah, look, uh, please excuse my decor. It looks a lot like my very first apartment uh, in that I have absolutely nothing. No furniture to speak of. Um, yeah, so I walk up to the fireplace. Yep, I can turn it on and off the fireplace. I am I can walk by just 
barely moving the joystick and then I can run. So I'm doing all this with a controller and it works. Yeah, look at that. I can play Midnight with a controller using console port with most of the console port functionality. I'm able to go in here if I go into this. Yeah, look, I can go in here again, more errors um, <laughs> and I can I can do all the settings so I can go through here, change things. I can uh, go over here and map everything if I want to, whatever I want to do, uh, see all this stuff. Obviously, I would imagine that in time more will be updated, but it works and uh, that's awesome. This is a big deal for me. This is going to make even just playing the midnight beta approachable. And so now I'm actually able to get in and uh, this may end up being one of the most uh, involved I am with the beta, especially with the player housing, because it's awesome. It's it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, and so that's cool. Obviously, I would imagine that with player housing, the controller support probably isn't going to be, you know, as amazing as it is. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a lot more uh, involved, so that might be a little tricky, at least for now. Who knows what's going to happen? But yeah, it's working and um, that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I recommend checking out the discord if you want to if you if you like console support, if you want to stay updated on everything and, and how things go in the midnight, you know, beta and in midnight and, and everything, then I definitely would recommend checking out that discord. You'll be able to stay up to date. It's interesting right now, obviously. Um, and, you know, the, the mod author for console ports an awesome dude. He cares a lot about his add on. He cares a lot about the game and the community. And he's very helpful, very nice person. Um, and just to kind of give like some expectations, I, I'm not going to speak for them. Like I said, check out the discord, but, uh, just from what I understand, I, I don't fully understand add-ons, you know, it's not my, like, I don't understand how they're made and just the coding and everything. I'm not a mod author, uh, but it just right now, obviously add-ons are in a state of flux. Blizzard seems to have like their approach is like, let's just break everything and then slowly taper back until things we want to function, function properly. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically what it seems like. So that's good uh, that they are going back now. I mean, they even mentioned console port as an add on that they want to continue to function. I would imagine that they would want UI customization to be intact as much as possible. So, you know, there's good news for a lot of other add ons as well. Hopefully. Uh, that will be the case, uh, but I know that at least for uh, the console port and, and for what the mod author has said is they expect that console port will be fully functional in midnight. And honestly, as of right now, it's it's mostly functional. So uh, that's cool. Um, so we're, we're pretty close, you know, but uh, with a lot, of, a lot of void demon hunters around here anyway. Um, but the big thing uh, in terms of just like, you know, updates for the for the beta, you know, everything's being changed. There's always, you know, updates to the API that Blizzard's making. And, uh, at least in the case of the, the of console port, the, the mod author has a pretty reasonable take, by the way, combat is working. I'm using the single button assistant here. That's awesome. Uh, but the, the, con the, the mod author has a, a reasonable take in that, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time constantly making updates for API. That's always going to be changing. So, uh, that's understandable. I mean, who wants to waste their time doing that? You know, uh, so <laughs> there's another error, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, that's understandable. You know, it, it, at least it works somewhat, but, uh, yeah, uh, even if things are broken, don't worry as time goes on, as we get to a final uh, stage of things, then I imagine a lot more mod authors, you know, and, and every mod author is going to handle things differently, but, uh, I'd imagine a lot more mod authors are going to get way more involved in getting things working. So once we get into actual midnight pre-patch and, and midnight release, you're going to see a lot more involvement, but at least, you know, as things develop and we see that mod authors are able to have access and for the most part can kind of get an idea for where things are at. So that's good news and uh, respect to all the mod authors out there. They make add-ons, you know, this is a lot, you know, a lot of people have put in a lot of time and, and effort into making add-ons and uh, we all, I think, I think I speak for most of us when I say that we appreciate all your hard work and especially, you know, the add-ons that uh, we, we would want to see continue, you know, uh, and, and don't really need to go away. You know, they don't really affect things like console port actually improves things for a lot of people. So uh, respect to the console port mod author and all the other mod authors as well. Uh, but anyway, I hope this was informative and helpful. You know, I wanted to show, show this so that people who maybe you're in the beta and you'd like to play with the controller. I mean, you, you can do that with console ports. So, you know, it's, it's mostly functional. And if you're not in the beta, but you're worried, at least maybe this will, you know, lessen some of that worry for you. And, and you can look forward to playing WoW with the controller at midnight. Uh, it seems to have survived the 
add on apocalypse and i think that's great news it's this is kind of my this is my stable this is the one i need the most so with con support functioning it looks like i'm here to stay i will be playing in midnight uh my ui is a mess i can't see some things so there's going to be other things i got to work on but at least for now uh the, the most important thing is is great and so i'm going to keep playing some midnight beta and learn about different things and uh, if there's more that you'd like to see from me whether it's with console port, with Midnight Beta, Legion Remix, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if this video was helpful for you. With all that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook and if you'd like, you can support my work on Patreon. Links to all that stuff can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.